Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever it is, if there's chosen one or some crap, it always matches back to the Eliakim one. It's got to at least hit that. So, no, no. Voldemort ain't got shit on me. Isn't that right, Hermione? All right, here's one for you. Uh, how about Jedi Watson this time instead of Sherlock Watson? I don't mean slow. I mean, I'm the one. If somebody knows who you are, but they, like, act like they don't and just sit there and snub you, like, for some reason, like, what is that? You know by their fruits, right? I mean, you know by their fruits, right? Right, Watson? I mean, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, you would. Nah, nah, that's not very Christian or, like, at this time, that shouldn't really be legal. I mean. Not Pullman, I just, I know, like, listen, I'm cleaning up, I promise, but you think about it. Even if just as, like, an assistant, like, or a consultant, or, like, let's, like, maybe make a script, or some of these documentaries would write themselves, we have free speech, right? Uh, even if it's just like that, but especially if you wanted to, like, if you at all like me, or even just wanted to tolerate me for, like, you know, business purposes, right? I'm saying, I'm saying, listen, we gotta try to help, right? But... It would really, I think I mentioned it before, it would be my sincere delight to be your personal, how do you say, like uh, your personal Pillsbury Kendall. You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, uh, I want to do. And so, castles made of bullshit, right? <laughs> you know the problem here, Mr. Seinfeld? See, I needed data for Saturday night, right? But see, the problem is, like, uh, I have one and it's always Humpty and Dumpty themselves and never anyone but that. So I guess I don't really, like, you know, I have a data for Saturday night. It's just uh, defective. And yeah, really, it never fucking clicks. I mean, they just insulted. They're so insulted. Like, how could I want to ever once eat dinner with anyone other than them or just by myself once why like they did it's insulting to them how could you say that you're 41 you gotta eat yep yep dun 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 Let us hear the conclusion of it then, my friends. Simple. It's this. Fuck around and find out, re. Yeah! Yeah! Mia! 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 Yeah. All right, y'all. So let me just try to explain it real quick. Like, I don't think they understand, like, who they're up against. They're warring against God. Almighty himself. And in what way are they doing that? We'll try them in this, right? If you know you're a condescending... You love hedonism, but it's not enough. That's not enough for you. You want to rob people of peace of mind. So you learn every little way to irritate and da-da-da-da and double standard and you're so snarky and you're so smart. You you you, you know about like the society. So anyway, right? What I'm saying is like uh no actually it's your will. You know for yourself, and maybe your snarky little demon, if you got one, right? You're aware of it, because no matter what, you're like, even the squirrels are infirmed, if you can't notice sometimes. Anyway, the point is, you know for yourself, you're like scheming in your head, you don't like that person, and you're gonna like, they steal your mark, but you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna plot how to like, you know, convince everyone that's not how it is so you can just keep doing it like Palpatine or whatever, you know, the usual crap with the diamond dozen crap, right? Anyway, what they don't understand, anyone at all, please take it to heart because these people don't, I know it's real complicated, right? But it, apparently it is. No, it's the Bible verbatim. It's Yahweh. 
Allah, God, the one God, God of Abraham, Moses, Isaac, Ishmael, Jesus, you and me and everyone else alike, right? Even the animals, they're God too. God of the gods, that's what Nebuchadnezzar called him. Yeah. Anywho, he's, he's just the one God. Those things are creatures, he's God. He's omnipotent, they're not. He's the force, they're not. Plus, he's like, yeah, anyway, why would you believe me about that stuff if you don't even, like, understand this about it? He knows what you are thinking and knows when you're awake or sneaking or scheming. You are tethered to him for existence, not some lesser spirit spook. Yes, they might be around. I say they're definitely around, stupid. These people are hiding the fact that they know that and they like them better than, like, it's just that stuff. Anyway, that's the problem. They like uh, they like Ouija boards too much in the 70s or something. Anyway, I don't, you know, like, look, what happened is they're sitting ducks and we know we're going to trample the wicked and plunder the, like, plunderer and, like, yeah, 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 right? And he'll be a swift witness against the sorcerer and the, like, uh, you know, the conjurer of cheap tricks and the one who exploits, like, wage earners and orphans and widows and et cetera, et cetera. And try him now on this. If you just understand America has been ordered to expropriate just Black Rock and see what happens. And then, like, from there, like, you know, use the scratch it and, like, put it to a vote or whatever because like we want free market capitalism which hasn't we don't even have communications like uh the communications are jammed that can mean only one thing like you're reek and you shouldn't have done that and you should just say sorry right at&t and all the others and like the the, the emails and the, everything alike what's going on with integrity they just don't want to put integrity back because they would look bad. Even though they wouldn't look bad. You understand? It's the exact people warring against God. Who would war against him? In the end, they will. They shall make peace with him. But that could be, you know, three days, you know, like three and a half years, seven years. Seven, I mean, like, pretty much you know the options, right? But if you would understand, like, the end of Malachi ends with, like, a challenge. A very simple, simple challenge. I mean, like, why do you want to ruin everything? Well, that's our faith now. Crowley was smart and discovered the Zool stuff with the Golders. And then if you take Oop and Orc and you match it to this and that, and then you take Tammy and Portman, um, that's, that's how you know um, we're the gods. And we don't have to listen to American law, right? Yeah, why don't you say that in court, Smeagol? Yeah, no, that's not actually how it works. But how it does work is you're like a sphinx, right? We're like uh, the creature is like just the, the fucking head part. The rest of the sphinx, because you're tethered to Father for existence, you're a little like life of pi boat that connects you to the great town, whatever, right? Is like just you, but like sitting behind you, unbeknownst to you, because he's omnipotent and sees in the hearts and the minds, is, is, you know, Yahweh Larks. Now, if you're smart, you can invite Jesus into the boat, but, like, you really, it's really pretty much that it. That's it. Besides, like, oh, you can get demons in there and mix with them and chat with them and, like, forget that there's a fucking tiger ready to kill you, right, right? But it's like a omnipotent tiger in the sky, not bound by time, who can, like... Uh, there's all kinds of shit about it. Anyway, you get what I'm saying with, like, you see where they go wrong with no one... Like, this God won't catch me if I, like, outthink him or whatever. And you just please discuss. Or Sloan, discuss. Please, Sloan, I pick you as Padawan, right? I know, like, Knightley could discuss, but nah, she probably doesn't really, like... But Portman could discuss. She could discuss. I mean, she could talk about how, like, Zendaya was her first crush or something, too. But, you know, she'll probably do something like that. Discuss. We must be mindful of the crap, Rick. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, anti-mall, like, a uh, cool one, you know, that one is, like, wipe them out, all of them, with the truth, right? You know, uh, we could, we could uh, call for, uh, I don't know, like, uh, 
a review of the Constitution and the books and, like, uh, the sitting ducks and would you just get them out of the way one way or another so we can please have some rights, you know what I mean? Listen, I don't care who you are, who you know, whose cousin you are, etc., etc. If you're ready to have some fun and some, like, constitutional rights respected and you happen to be in America and you're, like, you know, like, you like American stuff, right? And you don't like the Sith because they they sure don't listen to law now, do they? No, I don't, I don't, wait a minute. You've, you've, you've got to go, got to go, go, go. You know what I mean? Disgust. Boy, what are the chances? I mean, look at that kid. What a, what a handsome man. <laughs> right, Mr. Carvey? I mean, the, <laughs> well, that's a spitting image right there. I mean, the. Hey, I mean, you must be very, very like uh, you must be very proud of yourself. I mean, you should have worn a prophylactic, uh huh, uh huh, all right. Uh, so, I mean, like, uh, um, you know, now, I, I am sure CNN will assure you there is no relation between that freak and yourself, right? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I think I think you might be on them. I did warn you, Knightley, right? Right, woman? Right, Ewan? I know you even warned me first, right, Mr. Schwarzenegger, right? It's about the, uh, you know, cloners, right? Damn cloners. Oh, they do the difference between bingo and uh, semen. I thought the Sherlock's Watson, uh, Jarvis guy, right, Emma, or whatever. I thought these Sherlock's knew the difference between knowledge and wisdom and bingo and uh, semen, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I, yep. I thought so too, yeah. Yeah! Angry. Psalm 23. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.